Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode. So this one is going to be quite a quite a big one and well hopefully not too long but essentially we are going to construct and develop our food production zone which means once this is done over here we can if we just quickly go over we can finally start demolishing and moving everything over to our main farming district. I mean it's going to be kind of sad to maybe take this apart but we definitely want to create a bit of a distinction between different districts that we have here as well so um yeah we're definitely going to be working on the trains and that's probably one of the longer longer things because once we get the train tracks down it's it should speed up everything else in here as well so uh so yeah that's what we have and that's what we are gonna build so let's get straight into it and here we go so we've got a nice clean blank space in here and as we said we are going to transform this quite a bit we've got quite a few ideas unfortunately we do have a bad tide approaching as well hopefully it's not too long hopefully it's not gonna mess things up okay nothing happening over there and um quickly over here as well the forest is finally grown up and we do have some pine resin now let's see i think we had one dapper shack over here oh dear okay so we don't have any beavers we're gonna have to swap you around and this side, I don't think we had a dapper shack, so quickly fix you up as well. And there we go. Okay, so this zone is and should be fine now. Uh, right, with uh, this section here, what we do want to do, we have this lovely farming area. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Probably not. I mean, uh, it's definitely more than next to our lakeside area. So uh, what I'd like to do, it, it seems they're not really harvesting like 100% of the crop from, from here. So um, what I'd like to do, actually it's not really because of that, but I would like to process all the food in here. Just sort of like locally, I think we'll get the beavers or the pots to bring the stuff over and then we'll have like an industrial area on this side. We don't really need to block off and make it look green. I think this side is fine if it's a little run down as well. So the first thing we are going to need is a bit of access. Okay, we'll um, access from both of these sides. I have also already put down a few dynamites. As soon as the autosave is done, we can have a quick look over here as well. So they've uh, managed to do one side, but unfortunately, due to access, they've not really had the opportunity to do the other side as well. So uh, just a bit of temporary, yeah, temporary roads over here. Uh, we, we just need to clean the trees and then we'll uh, start figuring out how exactly we want to build this. I think how we will start is by figuring out the the train tracks first. Yep, that's how we should do it. So the easiest way, which I've kind of uh, started to put in place already, was to place the train tracks through here. And then uh, they'll run in and then probably turn over here. That's where we're going to have the stations. And then we go up again. Well, we have to go up from here in case they might want to turn yeah and go go straight to scrap city now this means there isn't a lot of space in the middle and that might be fine because those stations aren't actually too too massive oh yeah we've got plenty of space but um i have been looking around and i'm starting to think that maybe this isn't exactly how i want to do things this one here is probably fine and we can pull it through like so now, what I was thinking when I was kind of like zooming around a little bit as well, and um, I noticed that we do have this space in here. And uh, I have a feeling we've not fully taken advantage of the, the unique location we have. So what if we bring the train straight through here? It's not the best way to access, I guess. It would be better if the station was on the other side, but now it kind of feels like they're crossing over every time. But um, it's fine. Let's just give it a try. Let's see. It might be a pretty cool and unique option. So um, when we cross to this side, actually, hold on a second. We probably want to give you a slightly high priority as well. So two options is what we what we do have. We could do metal platforms in here, but part of me thinks, let's just have a quick look. Is it double? Yes, it is. So we could do it like so. And I think that's exactly what we are going to do. Yep, that should be should be fine. Now, the next thing we might want to do let's see no that's the wrong one we'll grab the longest oh okay that is a very long looking bridge and that might be very difficult to lay down the drain tracks as well but i think it's okay we can um we'll give it a try 
Ice priority over here and you guys. Okay, let's give them a minute to construct all the bridges first. All right, whilst we are waiting, I think it might take quite a, quite a long time. Why don't we actually do something else real quick as well that should hopefully help us in the, in the long run. So we noticed that we might need a few extra bots and uh, maybe we'll cut those numbers down in the future. Who knows? But for the time being, I'd definitely like to um, do some more of them. I've noticed that the main problem we have right now is we don't really have too many limbs. Yeah, that seems to be a bit of a problem. So uh, let's do limbs in this one. We seem to have a ton of bot heads, which is fine. Our chassis as well. Okay, well, why don't we leave those things the way it is right now. So in this one, hmm, bot heads or chassis. Okay, how many of each did you need? You needed two, two and eight. Okay, so maybe we, yeah... Okay, there we go. They should be pretty quick to complete and construct everything. And uh, hopefully that brings us the parts that we need. We do have another assembler. Wait, hold on a second. We've got three right now. We should be able to actually run four with the setup that we already had. And with the, these three added to the mix as well, we should be able to run actually six assemblers. Um, right, right, right. What can we do? Okay, so one of you can actually go in here. Uh, pause you for a second. This bit needs to be swapped over. Hold on a second. And here we go. Highest of priorities. Unpause you. Get this done, everyone. And um, what's the next thing? Oh, actually, let's be a little bit smarter. We might need this again in the future. So why don't we bring you up? Highest priority again. And same with this one. Hopefully you get this done. Because what I'm thinking, we might be able to place you around here here we go yep that's exactly what we might want to do so in the anticipation that we might want to get the spots real quick so yeah let's just already make sure that we have a what is it now one two three four five yeah that should definitely give us the why are you complaining oh dear i think i know why you can't mm. <laughs> okay no 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 uh, let's have a look. So the problem is we can't connect the power from the top. Unfortunate. Right, so that means we are going to have to move them again. I know, wasted a few resources, but that's okay. I think we're not struggling too much right now with most things except the grease. All right, so a couple of next things that we would like to do. We've got the bridge already done, and I think the second one is almost or close to completion as well. Well... We're not too far off. Then uh, we are going to have to create some power. For that, we are deepening this canal. And I was a little bit torn. I wasn't quite sure if we should just stack a ton of these compact uh, wheels over here. Or should we just do the big one? So I guess we are going... Oh, that was a close one. We're going to go with a couple of big ones. Let's see how that works out for us. And hmm, a little bit unhappy with the... Actually, what if we... Let me just try something. Let's get... Um, gonna have to change this around again. All of these out. And unfortunately, we're just gonna bring them one step over. Because that's gonna mean... Well, there's no point building this, boys. Here we go. Let's get all of this out. Delete it. Here we go. That's gonna be gone. And a new high priority. There we go. Okay. I don't really like how those bridges are so close to each other. However, oh wow, this one's already done. Well, it's definitely going to be a bit of a struggle here, isn't it? Getting all of them done. Maybe we shouldn't place you there. Let's start from around here. And then we're going to climb up. Let's get um, maybe not the metal ones. I thought it was the normal ones, but no. Okay. Couple of wooden ones over here. I guess metal is what we want in here again. All right, there we go. And then, of course, a few of these wonderful ladders. That's going to help us go up from here. You can still pass through. Yeah, so at that point, we can start building them from both sides, which is definitely going to speed this up quite a, quite a bit. All righty, there we go. Another one here. And uh, <laughs> dynamites are going in. I think we can detonate a couple of them. We can't quite place any of the power producers just yet but uh that that's okay as well now i probably want to pause you for a second 
I just want to make sure that no one shall or will get stuck in here. Actually, we should probably give them a little bit of access as well, but we'll we'll figure it out because things will change. They almost always do. Right, so two tiles over here, power. I think this road, we might actually not even climb down, who knows. Maybe everything's going to be raised up a little bit. I think a two wide or two tile gap over here should be fine, right? Now, what kind of storages or warehouses are we going to use? Maybe, oh, maybe it's going to go all the way up. If we fill this space up with these ones and then start building on top of them. Hmm, not sure. I mean, the smaller ones are a little bit better. Yeah, because then we can build directly above it or on top of them. Anyways, okay, so power one, two, leave a gap in here. Road one, two, and this is where we can probably to our train tracks oh yeah now we're not gonna need a lot of trains to pass through here because anyone that doesn't have any business in this area they can just cut through and then go straight to the forestry area i think that's uh that's fair enough and then with you as well i'd like this to be a little bit more raised up now how many logs Quite a few logs, but we should have plenty of them. Yeah, I do want this to be a bit more raised. Now, how many stations do we want here as well? We might need a couple, actually, because food is very important. And we need to deliver to a few different regions. So how about we have, like, two main stations in here? We are going to do one probably somewhere around here on top. Uh, I mean, it's going to be raised for sure. And then we'll do one on the other side. Yeah, I reckon two is going to be enough. Now, getting down from there might be might be a little problematic. How about we do it differently? Oh, also, we might have to leave like two tile cap in here. So if you're gonna go... Well, let's have a look. Can we place you, place you like so? No, we cannot. Okay, well, that's good to know. The middle bit, I'm not quite sure if we're gonna fill this up as well or no. But I guess for the time being, no, that's... Hmm... Let's grab the piece that we were using in the other areas as well. So this one's going to go here. I think this one worked pretty well. All right, let's give this another try. And the bigger section, you're going to go here. And then this one goes here. And then traffic lights can probably be... Hmm. Yeah, I think they can be here. We don't need one in the middle. And then we'll have stations. They can walk through. Oh yeah, let's place this road down in here as well. Okay, so this is starting to take shape. You guys are going to go here. And okay, we're going to have to figure out the crossing in here as well. Because annoyingly, we can't use these bits and pieces. I'd like to place you in here. And then I'd also want to place that like literally right there. But the problem is there's only one tile cap. And, hmm, I mean, I suppose we could move you a little bit, but then it just kind of feels weird as well. So how shall we fix this up? I have an idea that in case it might get a little bit busier, we could also go from here. Oh yeah, why don't we do that actually? So that way we're going to have two, like, river crossings here. Okay, that means we are going to have to clean, oh dear, all of this up. In case we might want to draw some power from here in the future, I'm just going to place the uh, metal blocks instead, or the reinforced platforms. And then you're going to go here just like so. Now, with the middle bit, I don't really know how we want to close you up. Do we want to close it up, or do we want to leave it open? Not entirely sure. Okay, let's uh, change this around one more time time if there's gonna be a slope here and a road and then a bridge over and then maybe the beavers might be crossing through there that means another slope here okay here we go this might be how we want to construct this okay you go there and then we should have access still from the other side as well why aren't you connected okay let's uh Oh, I see. That's a bit of a... I think I must have been like cleaning this up at some point, maybe a few episodes ago. But anyways, uh, right, how are the beavers going along? So it seems we don't have a lot of construction beavers here and things might take a little bit longer. Right, well, at least we've drawn out a few of our plans. 
Then you can go here. Let me just fix you up real quick. We might want to pause. I mean, access wise, this middle one might be fine as well. Let's just pause you for a second. That's going to go. You are no longer going to be connecting over there. All right. That one's going to go. And then I think the rest is easy. Pretty, pretty straightforward, really. Uh, still doesn't let us grab that one. Well, fair enough. Let's, um, let's find you from here then. All right. And here we go. And then we just do another piece like so, you're going to go this way, then it's going to turn. Uh, let me place you. Oh, we could also do... No, that one isn't going to help us. Okay, here we go. So that one's going to go here. They can still pass through. And then we're going to have road in the middle. And I guess a bridge over here as well. And then we'll come down. They'll go through. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to look pretty cool, actually. So um, why don't we give the beavers a little bit longer and uh, we'll just have this all the levees constructed and then we'll be back. All right, so here we go. We've got the blueprint in place. I was kind of playing around what should we place in the middle here as well. So first of all, the good stations are now back to back. Initially, I was thinking of them or I was uh, sort of planning to have them facing outwards or facing inwards, uh, should I say. But then I was like, well, why waste the space out there? So yeah, back to back it is. And then we've got some extra space in here as well. In case we want to put some, I don't think we're going to have anything major in here, but maybe some decorations. Yeah, might be a good spot in here. And then, um, yeah, they can just access them from the side in here as well. Now the decoration slope may change in case we are... Well, okay, so what I'm thinking is, let's say we do... The warehouse is like so, and we place quite a quite a few of them. Might change the access road actually here as well, but um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. If it wants to go here, that means we could have warehouses on level one or the ground floor, and then factories on top of it. Now, on top of that, we are also going to send the power lines all the way through here, because I do have a feeling that this might not be enough that we are going to produce in here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's a very, uh, very strong stream. So there's two things we can do. First one, we can bring those power lines down here. And then I think this is pretty strong in here. And uh, we could place... Um, I, I don't know if we're going to do the big ones, but I would like to definitely try out the smaller ones as well. I actually haven't placed not a single one in this playthrough just yet so we can probably do a couple of these ones just to try them out then uh, secondly with the with the power i do want to change this area a little bit as well it doesn't feel like it's the way it's supposed to be i don't really know what it is about it but it's definitely not done yet okay let me just give you a higher priority because i do want to make sure that we get the bridge done as quick as possible so the other option that i was talking about a second ago could be that we send the power cables through here we're going to get rid of the bridge as well because that's going to relocate over here instead but then the power cables you could run all the way here let me just fix you up real quick and then um actually we might be sending them uh, further up here later as well who knows yeah i think everything is pretty much in place now isn't it okay so uh that's the plans that's how things are developing right now we're just going to have to give them a little bit of time because we've, um, I think we've produced a few extra pots already. Yeah, we were like 195 before, wasn't it? So about 10. Uh, it's going to take a bit of time to have it all constructed. So uh, yeah, let's give them a few minutes. so there we go okay now the drought is approaching as well but um i think we've got a pretty solid foundation that is complete and uh well before we start constructing on top of it there's a few things i'd like to do first of all let us use a couple of these dynamites in here and the reason why i'm doing this i'd like to keep the drain tracks um sort of going straight through the area We'll use the metal, metal stairs to keep the beautification and the well-being. Uh-oh, here we go. Quick autosave as well. Just to make sure that the well-being is as high as possible. Okay, so there we go. That's the the very last link over here. I don't think we need to give you a highest of priorities because we have so many. Let me just show you real quick as well. I have built 
another four. I think, yeah, that's uh, at least four. We had the two before, and then these ones are the additional ones, just to help us move things around a little bit quicker. Okay, now the next things. Hmm, so something I'd like to do differently here. Let's just delete all the, all the tracks real quick. And for the decoration, we are not going to place fire in the middle, because that is a bit of a safety hazard, I suppose. What we can do, however, let's just see how good or bad it looks with the with the flowers here. We might actually have to do one row at a time. And in here, we might do the same as well. Oh, here goes the, uh, the bot army. Okay, they're just gathering the resources first, and then hopefully they'll start doing the shrubs as well. Okay, now um, let's have a look over here. We still have a bit of empty empty space, and we also have to connect you up as well. Oh, we still have a couple more tracks, and... Oh yeah, totally forgot about this section here. Hold on a second, it's a bit of a challenge. But there we go. Alright, I think we're also pretty good to remove this section here. Yeah, everything is gonna change very shortly, so here you go. That's what you need, and then with this section... Probably delete a couple of these ones as well, and then we just need to climb up really, don't we? Then same on this side as well. We can block you in a little bit. Oh, it's a bit of a struggle as well. And then we're going to have to place the bridge somewhere in the middle. I guess we don't have to. I'm not a huge fan of climbing up like so. It just feels so awkward. Yeah, there's not... Mm, I mean, I suppose we could also delete the um, the irrigation barriers. It shouldn't be a biggie since we're not growing anything in here. But for the time being, I guess we are going to leave things the way they are right now. Okay, so we can't connect you up. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so for now, I reckon it's fine because we're just trying to bring in a few extra helping hands. All right, that section's going to go as well. And let us see how we can improve all this oh yeah okay so we still mm, totally forgot about it okay so you beavers or bots are coming from there okay we'll bring you over here instead I'm gonna disconnect this bit in here I just want to make sure that the roads are where they need to be okay so they can walk through and how are we gonna connect so essentially what we need over here is I think it's a four-way right so some trains might want to go here, then they might want to turn, might want to go this way. Oh yeah, 100%. So the block that we are going to need, can we see it somewhere here? Yes, we can, but we probably can't grab you. So that section is going to go there. We might still need those rows to go through as well, don't we? Hmm, okay. Well, we might just delete one of the sections from here instead. Yeah, highest of priorities because someone is going to get stuck for sure. Okay, the uh, four-way is going to go just like so. And then what I could do... I mean, I don't think... Um, okay, never mind. We are going to beautify this area just a little bit. Let me see if we're going to be able to construct it before everything else. Because who knows? And then we'll do one more. Not this piece in here, but couple more straps in here as well okay finally daytime again and i've quickly added a couple more charging stations in here because quite a few bots i think they were oh yeah here's another one they are running out of energy in the most awkward places right i'm pretty sure we have another platform oh yes we do it says it's a little bit too far that's okay we're gonna have some roads on top very shortly. So first of all, we do need to ensure everyone's safety and that's why we are placing down a couple of these barriers. Uh, yeah, let's just make sure that no one's gonna get in a dangerous situation and after this, I, hmm, any decorations or leaving a gap in here? Maybe no, but it kind of would be cool if we have roads. Well, let's see, if we were to place you like so, well, what's annoying is everything underneath. It doesn't leave it... Yeah, it's not looking very nice unless we were to follow the platforms, of course. So, um, why don't we look at a couple of buildings that we are going to build in here. So, a few fermenters for sure. I also feel like we're going to do... 
where are the hydroponic gardens oh yeah this is definitely gonna be the perfect location for for all of them and we might even do them here actually as a matter of fact so one over here let's see road and then that's gonna be right about there this might be pretty a pretty good spot for it but the question is do we want to change everything around again i mean you don't need power same with these and we already have quite a few warehouses here as well i think the bigger ones we can place maybe towards here or on top of it as well okay i'm really starting to like the idea on a second thought though we still have quite a bit of empty and available space in here so how about we don't delete everything because it's taken us quite some time to let the uh, let the bots and the beavers construct everything so how about we place you over here instead and that's gonna fill it up just perfectly so i think the main problem that we are gonna have here is we we don't want to have too many roads leading everywhere another thing we could do let's say we have like four of those oil presses Okay, we can do decorations in these locations then. This one can go. And then let's have a look. We've got roads over here. We might want to climb down. And this one can go here. These roads we are going to connect up like so. And I know they're complaining right now, but I think we're okay. And then another thing we could also do, since we are going to have such a huge area here, why don't we do some like decorations or like a central plaza? I mean, something like this could work as well, but again, kind of useless or pointless because we're spending 600 hamster power, but we're not going to really gain anything from it. Yeah, we can always do these ones as well, just to fill the space a little bit. And perhaps we should have done, or maybe there's going to be like a giant... Oh, this should be like more... I don't know, somewhere around here, as they enter, there are these two ginormous beavers here. Okay, I'm loving this. I know it's, uh, we're getting distracted. Actually, I don't care. I think this is such a cool idea. I don't know what you guys think about it, but for me at least, I think, yeah, this is, this is gonna look sick. Okay, here we go. Couple of beavers over here. Scary looking stuff. And actually, maybe we should make it look even more impressive so hear me out what we can do and place these ones here hold on a second couple here couple of here all right here we go i think that's uh, that's looking a lot better i was just checking as well i don't want those beavers to go too high because then they are gonna take all the attention away from our main construction there and then to sort of finish this off we can do these bits in the corners and I think that's exactly, oh yeah, that's exactly what we want this to look like. Okay, let's leave you like that. Now, I am going to delete this side real quick. We'll build one of them first. We'll see what it looks like. I mean, I was going to say we'll decide. I, I, I don't think we're going to change our mind, but let, let's just do one at a time. Okay, the next thing we probably want to build up here are those fermenters. And it seems it should be fairly easy with you guys. Uh, right, the problem is probably going to be a couple of roads, so maybe that's how we're going to have to connect you up. Alright, here we go. These ones are here, and that's kind of like... Hmm, not sure if I want this to be like our main walkway. I'd prefer it to be here instead. So let's have a look. We've got a bit of a gap in here. I mean, this could also look pretty good with a few monuments. So let's see, a beaver could be here. And then this bigger one could even be here if you wanted to. Or maybe two beavers here. Oh yeah, we've, we've definitely got options. And then the, uh, the fire one could be somewhere here. Right, the other problem I most likely am going to have is actually the power. I was so focused on beautifications and making this area look lovely that I totally forgot about passing power through and connecting up these buildings. So we got the power lines down below, but hmm, I guess we are gonna have to bring you up from somewhere here. Okay, now what's gonna go here? Do we need some kind of like other access roads? Probably not. I don't think we really want to have anything else in here. 
And then we can do some more flowers. Yeah, green it up a little bit. And then what's the next thing? So we, we're not doing any farmhouses here. We've got quite a few fermenters already. I mean, who knows? We, we might have to do another another layer here as well. Actually, you might be right. Let's do, let's do another one here. Then oil press. We've already got four. Okay, so that's a good start. Gardens. These guys are here. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to do a couple of food factories as well now, aren't we? Couple more platforms and you shall be perfectly connected up like so. Since we said we're not gonna green this area up, maybe there's something else we could do. How about... How about we place a few flowers in here? That's gonna go here and let's have a look at some other decoration ones as well. This area might be a little bit darker at night, so let us give you the means to be able to see around this place. Okay, the station's looking good because, I mean, station always has to look good, especially if we get any surprise guests. So let's say the train goes through the through the station here and they're like, oh wow, it looks very good, green and lovely and these factories aren't bad at all. And that's how we get up get this site approved. I'm also curious if the beavers can climb up from here because they can definitely do it with the smaller ones. So all right these ones gonna go off. I think we're gonna delete this bit and yeah let's just use the triple platforms here. Oh yeah I think that would look very lovely in here. So you can go here this one. All right so a few more things to construct and finish off. We're gonna give the beavers a little bit of time and we'll be back as soon as it's done. All right so there we go after many many days later we finally have this area. I think we can say maybe about like 70 to 80 percent con constructed. We are definitely able to produce almost uh, everything except coffee so a couple of more buildings that we do have in here. And uh, yeah, I think algae is probably algae rations. Oh yeah, that, that one over there as well. But everything else we are now able to produce. And as you can see, the trains are actually flowing and delivering goods in the zone already as well, which is pretty fantastic. I think once we got the train tracks down here and allowed them to bring in some water, some planks, some woods, some logs, then it definitely helped us to uh, speed up the construction pro uh, process over here as well. So, so yeah, that's definitely been very, very helpful and lovely. So all of this is now complete. Everything is constructed when it comes to the train tracks and they're able to sort of flow pretty, pretty nicely over here. The next thing we are slowly but surely is connecting, connecting up the power as well. I definitely want to tap into the main power stream although it seems we're not producing a lot so we might have to continue and well yeah get those batteries done for sure but also run uh, maybe a couple more wheels over here as well in the in the great canyon that we have but uh yeah i think that's uh oh yeah we'll probably have to unpause you as well just a few more logs and it shall be done but other than that yeah this is looking pretty lovely i do like how it's come together it looks a bit more industrious so it's it's kind of like it's been planned out for efficiency whereas the rest of the map and the colony everything's kind of like all over the place i, I want to say i think that's gonna be it for this episode so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and we'll see you again in the next one